Tramia Rovers, Gateshead, Wembley. Who will come out victorious and get to the promised land of the Football League? Find out next. Hey everyone and welcome to episode 13, I hope it's not an omen, of Turmoil at Tranmere. We're hoping to rectify some of that turmoil uh, by just playing the small matter of a playoff final against Gateshead. And we've had a really turbulent season. I'll sh I'm going to try and quickly give you a quick lowdown as to what, ha what happened and how we got to where we are. Now if you've been with us from the beginning you will know that we had a bit of a poor start. Well, the first two games of the season were bottom of the league. Then we won his next five, which put us, I think, in the playoffs at the time. And then we went on a seven-game winless streak, basically. Um, we've won his first game in eight, and then we lost two more afterwards uh, for a terrible, terrible record. Then we got a win in, be in, in between some more losses. Um, and then finally, then we got told, basically, that after beating Maidstone we lost after, and losing to Woking, that we had five games, basically, to save our job. We get ten points, and we just about scraped through with that. We won the first three, of course, one of them was um, AFC Fylde, who we were playing again in the second second of the two games we had remaining. And we lost against Geisley, who were like 22nd or something at the time, which was absolutely disgusting. And unfortunately went to AFC Fylde for the live com, well the second live com in two, two episodes. And thankfully we got the win, uh, the Kirby show, it was kind of Kirby show. Um, and then since then, it's been really, really promising. Um, the only We only had a couple of losses. One two eventual league winners Ebb's Fleet, uh, one in the trophy, which is disappointing against FC Halifax, who were I think one of the bottom sides who got relegated, and then we lost to third place. I want to say Maidstone. Um, so I, I could accept those, and we just went on a beastie run. Eventually got into the playoffs, a couple of draws at the end, but we'd already got promoted. So it, not sorry, we'd already got into the playoffs. And then obviously we had the playoff first round because uh, it's a new system. We beat Leighton Orient in that game 3-2. We were at home because we finished higher than them in the league. They finished seventh, of course. And then as a result of Hartlepool finishing second, um, obviously the highest ranked team in the entire entirety of the playoffs, they were going to be at home as well. So we ended up playing at Victoria Park and we managed, as you saw in the last episode, a 2-1 win after extra time. Devan Green with the winning goal late on and... Yeah, as you knew, as you could see, I was absolutely buzzing my tits off. Now, of course, we've got Gateshead in the final, but I think we can hold his head held high if we do lose because one, we've got another contract; two, we've fulfilled our goal of getting to the playoffs; and three, we're going to basically be starting afresh, regardless of what division we're in, because we're going to be losing a lot of players who are on a short-term contract. It's going to free up a lot of wages. Finance is absolutely shot, shot to shit. You know, we'll be able to sort the financial mess out, as it were because uh, I find it's going to be pretty tricky to do so. But we're going to have a look at their manager now, which is Steve Watson. And as you can see, he's a very, very good manager for this level. 10 tactical knowledge, as well as all the other attributes pretty much been in double figures, aside from fitness attacking and man management. Obviously, the goalkeepers, uh, it's more of a specialist sort of area. Um, so, yeah, he's going to give us a game, no doubt. The key player is Mikhail Kennedy, who is... It says he's fit, but he's only 74% fitness. So that's going to be interesting. He's a fast striker. Um, and he's on loan from Charlton, of course. Let's have a look and see what the team lineups are going to be. Before I go through the lineups, I just want to say, don't forget, the next episode is going to be a full in-depth um, you know, end-of-season review. If it's something that you're into, you know, all the like the background, in the background stats, if you know what I mean, um, you know, the off-field sort of stuff, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, then that might be for you. We'll go through quite a lot of things in-depth. Uh, normally in the past I've done them with the live con first and it's been a, probably a little bit more rushed. But anyway, enough of that. We're in for this game. This is the important stuff. This is the stuff that's making me sweat already. So we're going to start with our team, which is Davis in goal as per. We've got Grandison who has got an injury. Uh, he's returning to full fitness imminently and his fitness is at 86%. I would have liked to have played Sutton, but he's actually full-blown injured, so I can't use him. We've got Hound and McKibley in centre of defence. We've got Buxton, as mentioned, at left-back. We've got Kirby partnering Guy again in the middle of the pack with Devan Green on the right. Etan Barney on the left. Dunn uh, just in between them, and Correa again up top. And of course, we've got uh, Vieira. Jacob's back uh, from injury on the bench, alongside Norwood and James Allaby. Come on, boys. I'm very nervous. Going to the dressing room now. 
I think I'm trying to, I'm going to try and stay away from the the whole getting promoted from league into into league two because I think it might add extra pressure. So I'm going to say carry on and finish. I that didn't quite, quite work, did it? You know how we finished that, what, the last match, but never mind. Let's uh, try and g them up somewhat with a bit of assertive faith. Listen, uh, nervously, Grandison. I'm not too keen with that, but never mind. Let's head to the tunnel, and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so let's get underway. I do realise that I did miss off off the um, there eleven. I pressed space by accident to continue, and I can't find a way to get back to that screen. So unfortunately, you just have to. You'll see them as they come on. Yeah, it's a nerves, man. It's made me do that. I think just anxious just to get into the game. His guy sort of feeds it back, and some man has a shot. It's hit someone. I think it's gone for a free kick. Okay. Something doesn't sit right with me here, and that's the fact that two of our players are nervous and none of theirs are. I'm going to have to try and rectify it. I just pressed encourage and two of them became nervous. So that was fantastic, wasn't it? And here is a long hoof. We've got Kirby. Finds Guy. Forward to Dunn now. A key man for us this season. Linked heavily with Coventry. Green cross us in. Back push. It's a Barney! Oh, is it the bar? So I've just told the two nervous players to, you know, there's no pressure. Try and ease them off. On the old nervousness, Correa though. Guy has a shot. It's written. God, it's gone everywhere. Centeno really could have got that, but never mind. Finds Buxton at left back. Who? It has been a week, by the way, so he was fit enough, surprisingly. He had 95 fitness, I think it was, or 96. But Guy strides forward, not with pace, because he's got 8 pace. It's tackled, but Grandison cleans up, finds Kirby. First time ball to Dunn is decent. Now he finds Atambane. Back to Dunn. Feed it back to him, Kirby. Play it wide. One of them. There's two of them queuing up there. Atambane. Tries to put it across green. Green, the goal hero for the last time. Hanford makes a save. So it's half time, and um, I'll let you know the team top before the game wasn't great. Um, eight people agreed with me, and about 22 didn't. So I'm actually going to say unlucky just to try and keep the morale up because um, of that reason I've just mentioned before. We've had all the chances as well. We've had four chances to their zero. So I'm hoping we can turn this into goals. Um, I'm going to leave it another 10 minutes and I might put pass into space on. It's definitely been, uh, I've definitely been buoyed by the start, well the first half of the final. But while ever it's goalless, there's always a chance we could get sucker punched. And, you know, I'm going to hazard a guess what we'll get, we will concede at some point. We just, just against the top sides, we just concede. Right, so I've just changed it to pass into space. Instant highlight. Dunn has it. Squares it to Guy. Guy, have a shot. It does, to be fair to him. Um, I thought Green was offside, but he's not. I mean, Correa goes for the ball. He's had a poor game with Correa. Not really been involved in any highlights whatsoever. Here's a highlight, though, for Gateshead. Hanant plays in a free kick. It's cleared up a penalty. No, no way, Correa as well. Correa, it's a penalty. Come on. Come on, Davis. Come on. It was straight at him. It was straight at him. One one nil down. We need some encouragement, boys. Come on. I believe in you. I mean, so undeserved. Look at the match stats over here. Straight at you, man. All you had to do, literally, a centimetre to the right and go like that, and you got it. What a bell end. Come on now. Hanford defies the laws of physics with the unbounceable ball. It's cleared over the top, Correa now. Redeem yourself. Redeem yourself. Right, I think it's time to make some changes. Ch -ch 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 changes. Come on, Alibi. You've been a goal hero before. I know you have. Get yourself on. You didn't play in the last game. You scored a few goals in the games leading up to the playoffs. Bring that form to this game right now. Kirby with the corner. Flip, whips it in. Flips it in. Whips it in. It's headed on. There's no one there for, for Gateshead. Grandison plays it wide to Kirby. Kirby, can he whip it back in? He can play in field to Dunn. Back to Kirby it goes. He's wide left at the minute. It's got an overlapping... I'd say run, but he's not really running. He's just casually jogging. Could even call it a brisk walk, but never mind. Guy. Done. Back to Guy. He's got a bit of space now. What can he do? He plays it to Green, who's not in space. It comes out again. Done. This would be like the world's weirdest highlight if nothing comes from it, because... Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Books and well done, mate. Kirby. Come on. You've been in one of the star men this season. Green overlapping run, of course. Hit down the line, he does. Grandison, who's absolutely knackered. Whips it in. Alibi! Alibi! What a, what a change! Master tactician! Genius! Well, not tactician, but substituter, if that's even a thing. Gives in Alibi! Yeah, I'm doing exactly the same as you, mate. Come on! What a ball. Green. 
overlapping run from Granderson. Granderson, I think it was like a, a damage, like a hurt shin, basically. Like that's all it was. Alibi, two defenders, and he won the header. Just knocked it straight in. What a guy. What a hero. A guy that goes at this on the, on the you know, thumbnails and whatever. Let's bring on Jacobs for the appalling playing at Mbani. Right, it's James Norwood's time to shine. He is decent at penalties and is an attacking threat. We need a winning goal. I did have to pause it because a tactic was playing out quite long. Buxton, Buxton, get it in. Kirby, plays it square to Guy. I was going to take Kirby off because of his two penalties, but oh, Jacobs is there. Alibi, what a beast! I can't believe it. He's come on and scored two goals. It's, oh, I'm just jizzed everywhere. One goal. I ex maybe expected maybe one goal, but two. Oh man, I was hoping that no, we we're going to come on and do that, but never mind. But literally, the, the highlight was playing out, and it was going on for quite a while because I couldn't make, make up my mind what I was doing. So I paused it because Connor Kirby's penalty taking is two. So I thought, sure, put on a midfielder. This is why this has just happened now. Uh, I, th I was going to bring on Romario Vieira, then I remembered that Norwood had 11 penalty taken. And it could still st could still go to it. There's still five minutes left of this game, but come on, boys, come on. Six minutes. I've had a time. Oh, it is. Oh, what? Five minutes to go yet? Oh, come on, can we get another just to settle it? Oh, no way. Concentrate. I just realised I press concentrate. Here's O'Donnell. They've got five against two at the minute. Look at all these overlapping runs. All he has to do is find one of them. It's going to go in, isn't it? It's going to go in. So I deserve. Oh, I get it. He missed. He missed. Come on, concentrate. No, is an instant I haven't even got a chance to say concentrate yet, you schmucks. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Tactics, I have to do it now or as I forget. Team instructions. Pass into space, knock it off. Confirm. Oh, I didn't put retain possession on, no. Quick, tactics. Tactic tactical, pop the lyrical. Uh, retain possession. Time wasting. All the time. It won't let me. Never mind. I'll do. Confirm. Right, here we go. Sykes. Still a minute left. So close. Oh, I feel sick. Preston, no, he's offside. Get in, you beautiful bastard. Who are you? You don't have a name, but I still love you. 45 seconds or so to go. Come on. Come on, Alibi. Punch him in the face like you do that. I don't care, he can get himself sent off. Preston's in behind here, McEvely. Oh, McEvely. All man's him. Can he whip it down the line? He needs to just clear it anywhere. Forget the retained possession. If you're in that position, just whack, whack it away. Headers in. Buxton. 15 seconds. Come on. Kirby forward to Alibi. 10 seconds. Just keep hold of the ball. Don't just give him it back. I'll be it's like two seconds. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Come on. Look at... Really? Is that what it is? Oh, I have seen it, but I never saw it from like, the bird's eye view. Look at me. Look at me there. I can't see my name. I'm just there like that. Head down at what? But yeah. We are going up. So we are going up. What a result. I mean, it's no more than we deserve. We went 1-0 down. First shot they had. We went 1-0 down. I could not believe it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We got away with that today. We're poor. Yeah, of course we're going to say that. Well done, lads. You some, your performance secured us. Well, actually, no. No. No, there's only one person that deserves any sort of praise, and that is James Allaby. You absolutely beast of a man. That's not even correct English, but uh, your performance was very, very good. Just happy. Not inspired, just happy. What a guy. And there it is, boys. Look at that glorious trophy. Let's show you what trophy I can give you. The champion. Oh, no, it's green. It's a sippy cup. Let me, re let me just hold that thought. The champions! It's a powdered milk holder, because, you know, seven month old. I mean, this would have been so much better because, I mean, you can see the shape of it here. Look. It's got handles and everything. That would have been so much better. But never mind. Uh, it, we all know what happened. Edson Bad is injured for two or three days. We don't give a shit because we have gone up. Let's see our initial. Budgets. Exactly the same transfer budget. But a bit more wages. About 15 grand more wages, I want to say. Maybe 13 grand. 
It won't tell us now, will it? Because I've just changed it. He's on his way out. Uh, we're actually going to be paying some of his wages, which is a pain in the dick, because he's got another year on his contract. But, yeah, fantastic. I want to. I, I don't even know what we're expected to do next season. But that's something to look at in the future. But, for now, I'm going to say, join us for the next one. And, yeah, let's go into the end of the, you know, end of the video screen, shall we? So, what an absolutely beastie result. I cannot believe it. We, we nearly got sacked this season. But I always had an inkling. I thought, I saw the table, even at the low points. And I'm like, come on, give, cut us a bit of slack. Yes, we're 16th in the table. But we were literally like seven points off the playoffs. And I always thought, yeah, top spot's gone. That's fine. I knew that was the case. We weren't going to get top spot. But I, was, I just thought, get a run of three or four games and we'll be right back in the mix. Sure enough, we won those four out of five games when we needed to. And after that, I was four points off the playoffs. So the chance was always there. The teams always beat each other. The, the, you know, Hartlepool were flying away with it. They were miles away. And... They end up dropping points left, right, and centre. Maid Maidstone overtook them, and Ebbsfleet eventually overtook Maidstone because they dropped points. So it shows that anyone can beat anyone. Anything can happen in this league, and I'm just so so pleased and relieved that we don't have to do another. I, I wouldn't have been too disappointed if having to do another season in the Panorama National League, but we want to get promoted, don't we? That that's that's what we want to do. We want to progress. So hopefully we'll be able to see something like that now, but. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, why not go ahead and press that like button? How can you not like that? We just got promoted. Can't believe it. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, hopefully you saw everything before that that led up to this because it made it a little bit more... This has probably be my best like promotion I've ever had because the other promotions I've had, I've usually been up there, thereabouts, or even top of the league and just pissed it. This has been quite hard as this one, um, and I've never been struggling as long. Even when we lead, when we lead series for the beta, I got, went up automatically in second, but I had a similar sort of struggling patch where the, the press was saying stuff, saying that, you know, next game could see him get sat. I never had the ball meeting or anything, but, so this one was even harder. So for, for us to come out of that, you know, and, and pull the results out of his dick hole like, like we did, it's greatly, it's one of my best achievements it, you know on over the course of the seasons so if you are new of course please go ahead and subscribe and hopefully you join us for the end of the season review which will be the next one which will be i believe this will be out on monday so apologies for like the cliffhanger for the season but it'll be on the tuesday that this goes out uh, that what goes out sorry the uh, end of season review hopefully you can join us for that but until then i will see you then bye bye